I know we're doing a whole lot, but we're pausing for the table just for a second. We got to make sure we have everything we need for our family. So it's our cozy Thanksgiving tablescape collaboration. So let's get started. And I definitely want you to remember to click the link in the description box below so you can see what all of the rest of the ladies have been up to. Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. After clearance centerpiece set the tone for this year's tablescape in our family room. Remember, it was 90% off. The pine cones, red ornaments, and greenery make this the perfect centerpiece for the cozy kitchen vibe I'm going for. And you know how I'm always saying create a floral arrangement where it looks pretty from any angle? This is perfection. I've had these simple, beautiful red placemats for a couple of years. It's hard to find them in red. They are from, I believe, the Kroger Superstore. These chargers, they are not new. They are from Michaels a couple of years ago. I think they were around like $2.99 each. I know, I am such a straight line girl. I really should have, you know, kind of angled the stripes a little bit, you know. Now these plates were purchased this summer from Home Goods. They were $3 each and they only had four. I think someone had just returned them. Now on Thanksgiving morning, listen, there's a treat here. It is shrimp and grits in the big bowl. Since I started this, it's like our thing and my sons look forward to that big bowl of shrimp and grits and these bowls they are from Walmart I think they were like four dollars I'm up around five or six on Thanksgiving Day so once the shrimp and grits are ready I pop them into the oven into these oven safe bowls let these guys come down and add extra turkey bacon cheeses whatever and we get it all gooey and honey we're pretty good we're ready for the Thanksgiving Day parade and a nap this gold flatware is a 16 piece set that comes from Walmart. I've had it a long time. So you can have a pretty set. You can take this from casual to formal anytime you want. And it's gonna be four pieces per place setting. Walmart, this has been with me for a while. You know the Dollar Tree goblet guys, everybody has them. They are perfect and even restaurants have them. So you need to get these Dollar Tree goblets adding the saucer because three out of four people that declare this to be a legal residence we drink coffee and i found these small coffee cups i call them bistro style coffee cups at a local store here and here we are one of my favorite things the espresso or coffee spoon I found these on Amazon and I'm going to place the link in the description box of this video. I absolutely love these, love them. My husband and I were saying the other day, when we began dating, we must have hit every coffee shop in the middle Georgia area. We still love coffee spots. Now my thing now is I don't like overworking the napkin, something that someone's going to use, maybe it's going to touch their mouth. I don't like an overworked napkin anymore. That's just how I feel. You do you, but this is me. I found these napkin wraps. Um, I think they were front gate at first, and then there was a website, and now I can't find a website, and I got no response by email. I don't think they're in existence anymore, but I got these from front gate, and I absolutely love them. They're so clean, just the, you know, not a refolding of the napkin, just slide it in. Your message is clear. It makes a nice statement. It is my preference not to put the napkins on the table until it is time to dine. Now the reason why that paper napkin is there is because I just polished a table and I didn't want to take the chance of getting any furniture polish on the napkins. I love a flatware rest and I am delighted to use these wraps as a flatware rest. Isn't that adorable? Love that. To the left, to the left, Always place your fork on the left. To the right, to the right, that is for the spoon and knife. To the left, to the left, always place the fork on the left. 
To the right, to the right, that is for the spoon and knife. That was so fun. <laughs> This is our tablescape. I wanted it to come across as easy, uninhibited, relaxing, and down home because my husband would be the first to say, I grew up on a farm and I decorate this side of the house for Christmas for him. I want him to be very, very relaxed. So love how this is flowing and we can just appear to be in a cabin and just relaxing guys. The white dishes and the touches of gold and the flatware and napkin wraps makes it a little upscale. And these white plates, they remind me of the ones that they have at West Elm. And we got them from Home Goods for $3 each. I have a quick DIY coming up for those empty picture frames that may appear in and out of this video. Every time those topiaries appear on camera, I get a question. Where did you get those topiaries from? They are a DIY from 2017. And here is a quick throwback as to how they were made. And it seems like every year, Ballard or Frontgate will have the large topiaries featured in their spring catalog and or for holiday decor. I will place the link to this DIY in the description box of this video and on an iCard. So we are cranking out the videos. We as in me, I am a one woman show over here filming, making, producing my own videos, and I am so excited. So I hope you guys really love the content that I'm revealing lately, and I hope that you are subscribers. And if you're not, work on that, subscribe. Now please check the link to the dream team collaboration in the description box of this video and you can automatically see one video after the other i hope you guys enjoyed today's content from the team and i hope you're inspired to continue on decorating for the holidays if you're not a subscriber to this channel consider doing so today and as always stay in prayer and stay creative happy holidays